Hi guys, this is Luke and in this video let's make this Python manage py Darth Vader comment do something. So yeah, let's get started. All right guys, so before we actually uh, create this Darth Vader comment, let's run Python manage py help. And here is the list of all the comments you can write away, you can run with a managed py file. Some of them you know perfectly, like startup, start project. Here we have migrate, make migrations. Um, the very popular one is also create super user, and of course run a server. You probably also know collect static and maybe some others. Okay, so. Now let's take a look at how some of those comments look from inside. So I'm going to open comments. This is my virtual environment directory. Here is the source for our project and let's open up lib. Let's head over to Python 3.8 and now we need to go um, to just give me a second site packages and here we need to find Django inside of Django we need to head over to um, core and here we have management and inside of management we have comments and here are some of the comments so let's actually take a look at migrate and this is the comment for running the migrate okay so uh, we are not going to dig into details um, let's take a look at another one but as you can see this is uh, Python code so let's take a look at run server and here is the comment for running um, run server so uh, yeah we will create three custom comments to understand how to do this and we will begin right away so as you can see I already started a Django project and uh, here we have our settings py file so I installed one application called samples and I added it to the installed apps list so in the models py in the samples application folder we have three fields name activated and created and what I didn't do is to register it in the admin so let me do it very qu quickly from dot models import sample and then let's register it very quickly admin site register and we want to register our sample all right so i'm going to save this and yeah i think i didn't run any migration so python manage py make migrations python manage py migrate okay so um we can of course put our comment files that we are going to create in this particular directory but a more convenient way to do this will be to simply create a management folder inside of our application so um, right now we are in management we are in comments management so here is management we go inside we have comments and here are the comments for our uh, project so uh, let's create inside the samples application management management directory and inside the management directory we are going to create comments and here we are going to put in some of the files in order to run custom comments okay so let's actually create the first one this is going to be Darth Vader py okay and we need to import base comments so from Django core management base we want to import base comment and now we can define a class comment which inherits from base comment and here let's begin from writing help we will discuss this in just a second I'm just going to put in here um, run in order to join the dark side 
All right, and then we will have handle, and this is something that we will discuss also in a second. Let's put in self, arcs, and keyword arcs. And then inside we can just do a print that, uh, yeah, subscriber, I am your father. No, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to put in, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so I'm going to save this, and now I'm going to run Python manage py help again. So let's wait a few seconds. And now we have our samples application over here with the Darth Vader comment. So I can run Python manage py and help. Darth Vader and over here we have run in order to join the dark side okay so right now uh, this this help over here is being displayed over here if I do Python manage py help run server I will basically know what this run server comment does okay so um, when I run Python manage py uh, Darth Vader, I basically execute this handle method. So let's do this. Python manage py Darth Vader, and we have please like, subscribe, and comment. All right, so this is the easiest... Um, easiest case scenario where we just print something out. So let's actually do something a little bit more advanced. And in order to do that, I'm going to run the server, Python manage py run, run server. And I'm going to log into the admin. And I forgot to create the super user. So let me do this very quickly. All right, sorry about the delay. And now I'm going to add a few samples. So I'm going to put in sample one sample two and sample three please note that all of them are by default not activated okay so now we have three samples and we can uh, activate them with a comment so i'm going to put in activate uh, samples py and let's uh, do some imports so from Django core management we want to uh, go to base and import this base comment and also we need to uh, import from samples our sample model so from sample models import sample and now we can define a class called comment which inherits from base comment and we can define the help and this is going to be activate all unactive samples and here we can put in the handle method and this will take in self arcs and keyword arcs and let's begin by defining the size and the size variable will be sample objects uh, we want to filter by the activated is equal to false so we want to grab all the uh, not activated and also count them so we can write down if size is not equal to zero we want to define a query set 
sample objects filter activated is equal to false and then um, let's also have a starting point with count is equal to zero and we can create a loop for obj in qs let's uh, increment the count by one of course and then we want to grab the obj so particular sample and we want to set the activated to be true and then we also um, want to save the object so let's write obj save and in other case let's just print maybe nothing here to do all right and here we can also uh, print something outside the for loop we can print um, let's put in activated and then put in the count count and objects so how many objects did we activate all right so I'm going to save this and let's run this activate uh, samples py so I'm going to quit the server from running Python manage py activate samples and we have activated three objects so let's take a look at those samples uh, of course we need to run the server Python manage py run server let's refresh and as you can see it's activated sample 3 is activated if we take a look at sample 2 is activated and sample 1 is activated as well so let's do another one I'm going to call it multiply py so I'm going to begin by going to activate samples and I'll borrow those first lines of code and paste them to multiply so obviously we need to change the help to uh, maybe multiply the count or the total count uh, by a parameter okay so now we need to uh, add an argument and for this we can use add arguments method and here uh, let's put in self parser this takes in self parser and we can now write down parser add argument and we need to provide a name and I'm going to call it param so the same way over I did over here and I'll specify the type to be equal an integer all right so now we can proceed to the handle method and here we can put in self arcs and not keyword arguments but options so the name is a little bit different this is how they do it in the documentation so let's just follow along and here I'm going to put in uh, param is equal to options get and we want to get this param and the next step is to define the count so we can put a variable called count and this is going to be sample objects all count and now we need to multiply so let's put in multiply is equal to count times param and finally let's print out the multiply so multiply print all right so I'm going to save this and yeah let's try it out I'm going to quit the server from running Python manage py multiply and next to the multiply we need to provide the parameter and it has to be an integer so I'm going to put in three and we should get mm, the result equal to nine so I'm going to press enter and there it is okay so if I do Python manage py multiply two we should get six and there it is two times three objects is equal to six 
And yeah, uh, I think I will finish off over here. I hope you enjoy this tutorial. We will see each other probably in the 14th part of the social network project. So this is going to be the next video that I probably will release and I'll try to do it tomorrow and on Sunday. I'll try to uh, release the fourth part of the uh, Django with Artificial Intelligence project. All right, guys, so thank you once again for watching. Have a great day and bye-bye.